unquote. Moreover, it was celebrated as, quote, the biggest theatrical event of the season all over the country, unquote. In 1964, Romeo and Juliet, The Merchant of Venice, Twelfth Night, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and Much Ado About Nothing were staged by Istanbul's Theatre, this time to celebrate Shakespeare's 400th birthday. When we come to the 1970s, in 1972 and 73 season, The Taming of the Shrew was performed, which was directed by Ali Cengiz Çelenk. In terms of stage design, a main one-piece scenery at the back of the stage with almost no stage property except the benches straighted on both sides of the stage and used effectively become prominent along with the classical costumes. In the period between 1980 and 1988, the practice of staging Shakespeare's at least one play every season, which had turned into a custom, was abolished. Shakespeare's King Lear, Macbeth, The Taming of the Shrew, Bahar Noktası, which was adapted by John Yücel, As You Like It, The Merchant of Venice, and Jules Caesar were performed. What is striking about this period is explained by Schenner as follows, quote, as the numbers of the playhouses increased and new playhouses were opened in the regions where there was no custom of watching theater, the directors necessarily became more flexible in choosing plays and the plays which were expected to be understood easily and liked by the majority of the audience were staged." Unquote. In 1980 and 81 season, King Lear was staged by general directorate uh, directed by Basil Coleman, who came to Turkey by the invitation of the State Theatre, where King Lear was performed by Junaid Gökçen. Basil Coleman describes the content of King Lear as follows, quote, the basic story of King Lear is very simple. It's about an 80-year-old, determined, stop burnout old man who has decided to leave his crown and throne to his daughters, unquote. Coleman, as a director, reflects such perception about plainness also on the stage as he uses minimum scenery and emphasizes the costume and hence characterization. In the background, he deploys a one-piece scenery which is also used as an entrance door while classical costume and staging techniques are observed. As also indicated in the press bulletin of the State Theatre, this staging gathered the most audience, though it was staged for a very long time, and Junaid Gökçer, Gökçer, who was the general directorate of the State Theatre, impressed the audience. In 1986 and 87 season, Müge Gürman's adaptation, Cadılar Macbeth'i, brought an innovative reading and staging of Shakespeare's Macbeth to the Turkish stage. Gürman describes this new interpretation, which is not completely different from the original text, yet transformed to introduce new dimensions, as she says, quote, I have developed in terms of quality and quantity and transformed the three witches, also known as Macbeth's witches, with their small but, but significant roles in Shakespeare's Macbeth into the protagonists of the play. They have been the spokesmen of all the conclusions I have reached about the play. They are no longer Macbeth's witches. What is in question now is Macbeth of the witches. In other words, Gurman reads Shakespeare's Macbeth and attributes new meanings to the play, not only in the text, but also on the stage. The play takes place in a cave where 21 witches, both male and female, stage a Macbeth play among each other. They not only comment on the characters and events with a critical eye, but also present the characters' inner conflicts and subconsciousness. In other words, the technique of play within a play is used while the issues of political and personal power are examined. In 1981 and 82 season, The Merchant of Venice was staged by Izmir State Theatre, which was directed by Çetin Köroğlu. In terms of stage setting, the use of one-piece main scenery in the background, which also functions as the entrance and the exit, 
continues in the mentioned play. The stage properties like Portia's caskets and the desks in the trial scene appropriate to the story of the play are effectively used. The utilization of classical costume and the character's priority on the stage are the remarkable features of the staging. In his column at Jumuriet on the 2nd of March in 1984, Erdogan Aytekin both praises and criticizes various aspects of this staging. Quote, there has been enough research on scenery and music. There are good applications in terms of dramaturgy. Yet there are disunities in the relations among the music, scenery, and the actors." Unquote. In 1987 and 88 season, The Merchant of Venice was this time staged by Bursa State Theatre, and which was directed by Ewan Simit. This staging was completely different than the one in 1981 and 82 season in terms of stage design and use of costume. Modernization in, sta in stage design draws the attention as there is uh, almost no scenery, no stage properties, only simple and functional properties like Portia's cascade, which is only one in the staging, as there are three caskets in the play, and the table used to hold the casket. What distinguished this staging than the previous one is the use of modern costume. As the characters go beyond their classical representations in the play and turn out to be people from daily life. The modern costumes are also very simple, which strengthens the presentation of the character. As Yilmaz Arıkan has stated, quote, a theater cleared of scenery, property, costume, lightning, and music leave the whole power of expression to the actors, unquote. And in Smith's creation, the power of staging depends on the simplicity of the presentations of the characters in action and uh, on a Bayer stage. In 1990s, the modernization of Shakespeare's plays in terms of stage design with minimum scenery and stage properties continues. Yet it is observed that the use of a one main piece scenery at the back of the stage has been adapt, uh, abandoned and instead dark colored curtains or flats are made use of. The, staging of, the stagings of Macbeth in 1993 and 1994 season and the measure for measure in the season of 1995 and 96 by the Arbacher State Theatre are prominent to demonstrate this particular shift in staging Shakespeare. As we come to the 2000s, we see the use of various innovations in stage design in staging Shakespeare on the Turkish stage by the State Theatre. A modern fashion in use of lighting, costume, and scenery was implemented as, oppo as opposed to the stagings of the 50s and 60s, where the classical scenery was appropriated in conformity with the genres and themes of the place, and the 70s and 80s, where minimum scenery and stage property were used, and the act acting process wa was more emphasized. In contemporary staging of Shakespeare's plays, techniques and properties from diverse fields of arts are practiced on. Aziz Çalışlar comments on the development of new possibilities in stage design, as he says, quote, along with the improvements in plastic arts, visual arts like cinema or television, or applied arts which require both, both functionality and aesthetics, the integration among the arts enriches theater, unquote. Therefore, the application of technical devices and cinematic applications provide the directors and stage designers with freedom and multiplicity in staging Shakespeare's plays. In this sense, King Lear, staged by Istanbul State Theatre in 2002 and 2003 season, can be given as an example to see the first steps of the use of technological devices. Following this, Otello, staged by Antalya State Theatre in 2012 and 13 season, The Tempest, staged by Izmir State Theatre in uh, again 2013 and 14 season, and Hamlet, staged by Istanbul State Theatre in 2013 and 14 season, are highly notable stagings. In King Lear, directed by Rosanna uh, Roger, quote, the costume pertinent to the current age turns into the costume of the age to which the play intends to be attacked, attached, unquote. 
In other words, the classical story of King Lear is brought to today's world from pre-Roman Celtic period through especially the modern costume. The bare stage with, uh, with no stage properties, the dark colors dominating the stage with dim lighting, and the fog effects used throughout the play modernize the staging. Following this, Otello is quite rich with techno technological devices and has turned the tragic downfall of the Moorish general into a visual feast. The two colors, red and blue, are extensively used throughout the play and highlight the tragic tone. While the blue color is used in Otello's scenes, red is associated with Iago, the evil character. Özdemir Nutku describes such use of colors in staging uh, in his following statement, quote, For instance, the sensational measure in comedy is provided by warm lighting, while it is maintained by dim and cold lighting in tragedy. As we have already mentioned, the red color is the symbol of danger, blood, and passion in a particular case, unquote. Furthermore, the intensive use of fog, fog effect increases the mystical atmosphere and the tension. The mirrors placed on the left side of the stage as a stage property are highly functional as they mark the scenes where Otello goes through inner conflicts and tries to control his jealousy. In an interview, Malcolm Kate K., the director of the play, lays stress on the necessity of updating, as he says, quote, they always ask me whether I will stage a classical Otello. I hear such a question only in Turkey. Shakespeare didn't write for his time. He wrote for all times. That's why we have to interpret his plays relevantly to our own age." Unquote. In The Tempest, staged by the same director, Malcolm Kate K., a shady lighting is applied to provide the enchanted nature of the uh, island of Prospero. The magical atmosphere of the play is presented through fog effect, the mechanical sounding and motions by the actors and actresses. What is striking about this staging is the use of projector to promote the stage design and show the scenes which cannot be showed on stage, which affirms Aziz Çalışlar's remarks on contemporary stagings. Quote, the current stage design is carried, carried out by modern electroacoustic devices, visuals like projectors and computerized methods." Unquote. Lastly, Hamlet, which was directed by Işıl Kasapoğlu and performed by Bülent Emin Yarar, gives a new impulse to the staging of Hamlet. In this solo performance, the dramatic elements turn into narrative elements, and other characters like, like uh, King Claudius, Gertrude, Polonius, Ophelia, Rosencrantz, and Guildenstern are presented through Hamlet's perspective and the feelings they arose in Hamlet. Moreover, the play starts with the famous to be or not to be soliloquy, as the order of some scenes have been uh, changed while some scenes have been omitted in the dramatic text. The scenery is as uh, effective as the acting, as Hamlet discloses compassions and repulsions for the characters in a red cockle shell made from velvet. In terms of stage design and properties, various theatrical components supporting uh, Hamlet's solo performance and personification process are used. A red fabric is used in the scene of Ophelia's death, increasing the tragic tone, while Hamlet travels to England with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern on a blue fabric. The puppets representing Gertrude and Claudius are made use of to reveal Hamlet's hatred for both of the characters. The lighting, whose uh, brightness change according to the character Hamlet acts, and uh, to the live music accompanying Hamlet's performance throughout the play are also prominent for the staging. Thus, with, with an innovative arrangement of Shakespeare's Hamlet, quote, with this play, which has not lost its meaning, the playwright, the director, and the actor shine like a jewel, unquote. I conclude my presentation with my wishes to celebrate many birthdays of Shakespeare and watch many stagings, both classical and modern ones, on the emancipated Turkish stage, free from all the prohibitions. Thank you.